welcome back um i want to say hopefully i just got done eating i went to go run some errands as well um while i was out and got a text and hopefully it works out with this text i will put in this video what it is but i will not be able to do anything until after i get this done um hopefully i say hopefully things work out i don't know if you can see that behind me but the clouds are really black and we have a 70 percent chance of rain and i said i was going to be able to work in any weather but at the same time i don't have a um cordless saw or anything so that might prolong on me trying to get things done on the shed but if the wind picks up it gives me a chance to see if this uh is really going to hold with the wind and the way things are going to be see if it's going to be sturdy enough to hold the wind impacts that we have been having for the last couple couple of weeks um like i said i'm probably probably going to go ahead and put screws in all four all four all five or whatever to make it to where it's more sturdy i got a i got one I got one screw here, one screw here, and one at the bottom. But I think I'm gonna make put more screws in it. But at the same time, it is holding. It's not like it's gonna fall. But like I said, I just wanted to put this in the video real quick. I want to do some more work, but at the same time, it does. Excuse me. It does say we have a 70% chance of rain, and. Amarillo is when it comes to weather it's unpredictable so you really never know if it's really going to do what it says it's going to do um, it can be cloudy back there and be you know very pretty back there or whatever whatever or wherever and then all of a sudden it just gets you know black so I'm going to try to get as much done as possible as I can and then we'll just play it by ear I don't know if I'm going to cut anything maybe I can just grab my pieces and uh I don't feel like I'm just talking this whole video, but um, go ahead and grab my pieces and probably get my ladder and get up here and go ahead and get that measured out so that way I'll know what I'm looking at. God, my nose freaking is trying to pick up my nose all the time. But uh, get everything measured out. I think, yeah, that's gonna work. Like I said, I think I'm just gonna figure out how I wanna do the rest of this stuff, like to make sure everything's flush so when I decide to bring, um, some stuff in then it works i am totally totally really honestly thinking about and um i'm not really set in stone but it just makes me want to honestly go ahead and cut these off cut take these out but at the same time that is what's making the whole structure sturdy right now because the wood's still pretty good I don't know it's just a thought i'm not saying i'm going to do it but it's just a thought to take out to take out the wood and then you know um, make it to where like certain pieces will line up better uh, and be more code aesthetic when i get ready to put my wall on it to go one whole piece but at the same time i might just say screw it and go ahead and put a wall on both sides that's just one of those things guys i'm i know i'm spending more than i need to but I want it to look nice and this is this is a budget build on my behalf I would say a budget build because I was trying to this is the reason I say it's a budget build I'm trying to see if it's going to cost me less money than going out and buying a storage shed from any place that you can think of tough sheds um, any shed place I'm trying to think of all the shed places I know tough shed was one because I was going to use those people um, and you know buying these sheds like from walmart or home depot or anything like that any place to sell sheds i'm just trying to figure out if my budget bill shed is going to be cheaper in the long run and, and it's going to be as durable as the ones that you go buy in the stores so that's really why i said budget uh because the one i was looking at was going to cost me uh, a total of um four grand to have built and things like that that's what it's going to cost me four grand so i'm going to see if my budget build is going to be less than four grand 
and go from there because I know once things are said and said and done, I might have spent just a rough guess, maybe, maybe a thousand bucks. Once, once, once everything is said and done, I maybe have, will be have, oh gosh, I maybe would have spent a thousand bucks on the whole shed build because most of the stuff was free and then by me buying some materials here and there, I say I think it would be more of a build that's going to be about worth a thousand bucks, and that will save me money in the long run. Uh, that's not including the door. That's including the door and everything. Should I say something not including? But that's including the door and everything. And if I want to do um, a pieces of pieces of boards on both sides, that's that's including that because I know for a fact how much it's going to cost for so many of that. So. I'm going to stop rambling guys, you know, taking up the time on this video. Um, I'm going to try to get as much done as possible. I'm going to go ahead and try to get everything set up now and just start bringing out a little bit and go from there and get that, get that piece measured out. I said I was going to get measured out and then we'll just play it by ear. If we start hearing thunder and lightning and rumbling, then we know that um, we're going to have to call it quits. But at the same time, I do have to be somewhere at a certain time. so. I want to go ahead and try to get as much done before I have to be there and then, you know, try to resume as much as possible when that time comes. So if you guys stay tuned, I'll be back here shortly. Welcome to another day. And uh, today, I'm going to try to get what I was supposed to get done yesterday. But what happened was, the reason why nothing got done yesterday is because I was thinking that the weather was going to get bad and I let the weather predict what I was going to do but at the same time I'm going to show you this and then we're going to do a little review on this real quick and then we're going to go from there and then I'm going to try to resume and finish the build today and get some more stuff done to the build should I say but I want to do this real quick because this is what really took me so long and uh, this is another reason why things didn't get done because I was waiting on the gentleman and yeah I won't even get into it until after I show you what I'm talking about. Let me pause this so I can put it outside so that way we can get a real good look at it and go from there. Okay, I got it outside. I'm going to show you what it is. And maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But we'll just have to figure it out when it comes to that point. But I went to talk to a friend about something and the friend I talked to said they had something and I went and picked it up so and we're going to see if it works but I'm going to show you what I picked up and then we're going to go from there. I wound up picking up this. A little small uh, flux and um, MIG welder. It's made, it was made in 1996. Uh, <clears throat> I am um, tested it out before I buy it. The general told me to test it out before I bought it from him. So what I'm going to do is going to make sure everything that I get for this is going to work. <clears throat> Excuse me. Make sure everything I'm going to get is going to work and stuff like that before I buy it. So it's kind of like a test, test thing. But I did get a welder. I just don't know how good it is. I tried to find some parts and stuff for it, but since it's way out of date way out of date it might have some issues trying to find parts for this welder but it is a flux and mig welder combined where you can use gas or flux or whatever there is a lot of that, that spool that you saw just now was flux for a while um, but like I said I gotta test it out and see and check out some things on this to make sure this is going to work and do what I want it to do and go from there. So hopefully we can get the project project done and get that back on the road after I get the shed done. But at the same time, I just want to do a quick little review on this and add it to my builder, builder video. So I'm going to pause this, come back here in a little bit after I get all my wood and stuff outside, then we're going to come back and try to finish getting the shed fully together, tops and all the things and stuff I said I was going to do and get those done and then after that we're going to, you know, finish trying
trying to tear this apart and figure out, you know, uh, what else I can get for it and if I can get parts at all. So I will resume with this here and shortly after I get some food in my tummy. Drake,